Hey, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you on all the basic ways to make really good money in Hypixel. So, let's say that you literally just logged in. Like, like you're literally zero coins. You're, you're brand new. Like, you literally have, like, a minute. Um, so, it depends what you do. You can either go farm over there right away, which I'll show you in a sec. But what I would do first is I would go to this guy. Go talk to him. And he does give you a rogue sword. And if you use the ability for the rogue sword, it costs 50 mana. But it basically makes you go really fast. So my way of making money from the farming is I would use the rogue sword. And then I use the ability, bang. And then I literally just run around collecting all of this like this. Okay, okay, okay. I, I did this until I got about like a thousand coins. Then I went over here to this NPC. I sold all of it. And then what I did is after I got a little bit of money, I got a, uh, I mean, let me see if I have a shovel in here somewhere. I don't know what I would do. I would grab a shovel and then you'd go to the desert settlement. If you know what that is. You gotta get level three mining or farming to go here, to this place. If you want to, you can go do more wheat here. Carrots and potatoes. I'd recommend carrots. They give a lot more money. Potatoes are also just one coin. Or, yeah, potatoes are one coin. Carrots, I'm pretty sure, three coins. And if you do actually unlock the bazaar, then you do get, you can sell it for a lot more. Anyways. Here, then you grab a shovel. You, you use that rogue sword. And you start running around and mining all the shovel. Or all, mining all the, the sand. I did this until I got about 100 to 1 million. And then what I did was I bought this aspect of the end. This very one, actually. Been using it forever because these two, these are my main weapons so far. And then uh, I kept doing this until I got another mill. Then I bought, I believe I bought young dragon armor. Also, sand, if you go sell sand to an NPC, it's two coins each. But if you go to the bazaar, which you probably don't have unlocked yet, it's so much more, though. Um, the Another method, if you want to start off in a weird way, go mining. Literally, just go mining. So... Oh, actually, okay, if you want to do combat, you'd obviously fight the zombies over there across the bank. You talk to this guy, you buy the undead sword. You walk, you just, I'm just going to teleport for now. But you can go all the way over here. Go to the graveyard. And start slaying zombies. It's such a it, it it might it might take a little bit to kill them like they might not be one shot, but you know all you gotta do is like just hit them a little bit. You know you just hit them till they die. Yeah, that's like pretty much how to do there. I'd say get to a good combat level, maybe. 10 to 15 uh, if you do get to like tw I'd say get to 12 and then go ahead and buy a either use the aspect of the end or the raiders axe I suggest the aspect of the end still because it also lets you teleport it's only a, like it's also a lot less money but then I suggest going all the way over here going past the minions if it's raining I suggest going right up here to the end and if you had the aspect of the end make sure to put ender slayer on this it'll make it so much easier to put ender slayer 5 and all you gotta do go around teleporting and killing endermen 
you get 44 XP each. And then if you also go lower, the higher level, they'll also drop more XP. So let's go a little bit lower. So these guys, these guys get 46.2. Unless I have like a combat boost right now, I don't know. But it's it's so it's so much easier to but it's so easy to just kill them down here. Um, you you can't actually make a lot of money from this, especially if you grab a diamond pickaxe and mine all of these little particle blocks. Those will give you some random stuff. If you get lucky enough, you're gonna walk. You're gonna want to talk to a. So this guy, he's not gonna be down here. He's gonna be at the very top. But you're gonna want to talk to him. He's gonna give you a quest. Go down all the way down to the bottom into the portals. Go all the way to these guys, and once you kill them, once you kill them, uh, it's, it's not like a one try thing, it's like a multiple tries, but um, uh, if you get lucky, it'll drop that, it'll drop a dragon shortbow, which you can then use to use if they ever, if people ever spawn a dragon, and obviously you're going to be too poor to buy a dragon stuff. But yeah, if you ever do get to it, you should definitely participate in those dragon fights, especially if you get dragon tracer on those. Because you'll just get extra. You'll just get like a bunch more stuff. Now on to mining. So I suggest grabbing just this, uh, a wooden pickaxe for now. I believe it's like 10 cobblestone. Or not ten coal, ten ten coal just to move on. It only requires like level one. Go to the gold mine. Now over here, before you do literally anything, talk to the lazy miner. I'm gonna show you the direct way down so it's so much faster. You go take the left or you take a right. You just keep going down. You just keep following this trail. The the goblin uh, no not this one. Um, stupid you go down you go over here you just want to keep going down you want to keep going down and then right there you see this this is a this is a iron pickaxe with fortune on it and then you're going to want to go back up to talk to the janitor and on your web you're going to have some quests like gold iron stuff like that definitely try getting a some sort of minion for mining because mining's like pretty hard actually unless you do like gemstones which are really high level which i can't even do yet but uh yeah you just do that a bunch and once you get to level five or just whenever you feel comfortable you go to deep caverns now if you do my other methods before so you got the aspect of the end let's say yeah let's say you have the aspect again you're not gonna have any armor most likely unless you got lucky or something so I would use the elevator but I'm actually going to show you everything right now so then you're going to want to go on the other side and keep going straight at this little ditch is the exact way to lapis mines and it's super easy super fast to get access here now take your ass right to the end and just kill these guys if you kill enough you have a chance of getting the lapis armor which is going to be really useful against the next monster that you're actually going to try killing for XP. Now, I'll try showing you everything else. I know I know where the redstone is and stuff like that. So down here, the redstone. They're, uh, they most likely won't attack you. But yeah, you, you might want to read this sign. Careful mining redstone around here, pigmen. So if the pigmen watch you mine redstone, they're, they might attack you. It depends how close you are to them. Now, there's the elevator. Now, if I'm right, it's go this way. Nope. I'm trying to find the emerald. So, here's the elevator. You go all the way over here. Uh, keep this isn't the right way um anyways yeah the i i suggest don't killing the pigment because it's uh it's 
a little hard to c control them. Anyways, if you go right over there, you go straight to the end with mine. And uh, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. So then once you get to the emerald, yeah, you can kill the slimes if you want to. But I suggest going straight to the diamond mine, which is super easy to get to. Be careful, slime minions can actually kill me too. You, go sh you literally just keep going straight and you'll find the diamond mines eventually. It's super easy to find and stuff like that. Yeah, you might want to kill some, you might want to get some diamonds here and stuff like that. Now, with your ash at the end, you should be able to one tap these guys the minor zombies and minor skeletons. Now, what you want to do is you're going to want to get the diamonds, obviously. And also kill these guys. With the with, with the aspect at the end, you should be doing 200 to 500 damage, maybe even 600. But if you kill enough of these guys, you you'll you might be able to get a piece of armor from them, like a helmet, chest plate, leggings, or boots. And hopefully, you get some armor from the lapis ones because these guys will one tap you really fast. Now, there's the Obsidian Sanctuary. All you, the only thing this is used for is you talk to Riz, Rise, and all you gotta do is grab a short list of items, which is practically everything in this mine, including coal and iron. You get the Dwarven Mines, which you then go here, which uh, I'll make a different video about this. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope any of these ways help you at least a little bit. I'm going to make a, a better version of this later on in the future. And uh, yeah, let's just hope this really works for you guys. It worked for me. It, it did take a little bit, like only a couple days. So I hope it works for you too. See ya.